So you want to become a millionaire, you're in luck because in this video, I will show you exactly the method, 100% guarantee where you can become a millionaire yourself. Now I've done this video to show my family and friends exactly the method that can be used and it is easy to apply to become a millionaire. Now if you think that this video is some get rich quick scheme, I'm sorry this video is not for you because this method I'm going to show you is a slowly but sure way method that you can become a millionaire in time to come. But it is important that you watch until the end because I will share with you what are some of the common pitfalls and mistakes many people will actually commit that jeopardize their method and chance of becoming a millionaire. Now if you think that I'm bullshitting, don't worry because I'm going to show you the math because math don't lie. And through this math, I'm going to show you how this method really works for you. Now if you know Albert Einstein has shared that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world and today exactly i'm going to show you how you can put compound interest to your favor to help you become a millionaire and next i'm going to show you a record of my screen as i talk to you to show you how this compound interest works to help you to become a millionaire and subsequently i will share with you how do you apply this to you and let compound interest work in your favor to become a millionaire soon enough. Okay, so now I'm going to take my mobile phone and show you the screen record as I share with you. So now I'm going to show you the calculation of the compound interest and later on I will share with you exactly how you can use this compounding interest to your favour to get that $1 million and even more. Alright, so now I am using this calculator from calculator.net. It's a free calculator and in there there are many many calculators. So if you notice here, I've chosen investment calculator to illustrate to you how you can achieve that $1 million. So math don't lie. Okay, so now let's assume you are probably, I'd say maybe you are at 30 years old. Now if you are younger than 30 years old, even better for you because you are going to have a longer time horizon to compound your money. But let's assume you are at 30 years old. Right, so I have selected. If you notice this, I have selected the end amount. All right, if you see here, end amount because we want to know based on what you do today after x, x number of years how much money you will have in your own bank account after that. So, starting amount, let's say at 30 years old, you have saved $25,000. Okay, so we're punching $25,000 as your base capital and you're going to compound it for 25 years. That's when you are 55 years old. So you're 30 now, assuming 25 years later, you're at 55 years old. And let's put in a return rate of 10%. Now I'm going to explain to you why I put in 10% now, okay? I will show you how we can achieve that 10% easily, all right? And you, we shall let it compound annually. So you can choose a few like annually, semi-annually, you can choose a few, but let's make it easy annually and assuming every year you're going to contribute twelve thousand dollars a year which means that every month you're going to put aside one thousand dollars to contribute to this millionaire fund of yours all right so we will punch in twelve thousand dollars and we will contribute at the end of each year and now let's do the calculation make a guess how much do you think you would have at 55 years old based on this holy shit. look at that you will have $1.45 million when you're at age 55 years old. Can you believe this number? I'm not lying. The math is telling you, all right? And take a look at this circular graph chart. You see here, your starting amount is only at 2%. Your total contribution is 21%, but the rest of it, majority, 78%, is made up of the compound interest from the market to you. That is your money at the end of 25 years. All right, and you look, and I further down, I scroll down to show you the schedule. Look at that. Starting from the seventh year onwards, your interest starts to compound significantly, five digit every year. And look at at the end of 25 years. Oh, you know, your interest at that year alone is 130,000, and you add up all the ending years in total plus your contribution, 1.45 million. Now, Let's say you don't withdraw your money at 55 years old. Let it compound for additional five more years. So at 30 years, that's when you are 60 years old. Let's do the calculation. Look, from 1.45 million, you have now 2.4 million. 1.45 to 2.4 million, that is an 
extra almost one million dollars with just an extra five years to compound. Now, what if I say we do for 35 years? All right, so that's when you are 65 years old. And let's do the calculation. $3.9 million, my friend, $3.9 million. So you are, if you start investing at 30 years old, at 65 years old, you have $3.9 million. And you only started off with $25,000. Holy shit. Can you earn that amount of money just by doing simple employee work? And uh, what I'm talking about here is a simple method how you can make this compounding work for you. So what you can do is you can pause this video right now, go to calculator.net and choose investment calculator and punch in your figures. And next, how you can play with this is, you see, I'm now at the end amount, okay? I'm going to select starting amount tab right now. Okay, can you see starting, uh, starting amount tab? Okay, so let's say starting amount and let's say my target, I want to have one million dollars. Is that six zeros? One, two, there's a mosquito flying around. Okay, so let's say your target is one million dollars. Okay, assuming you are maybe in your 40s already, and let's say you are 40 years old right now, okay, and you want to withdraw the money at 65 years old, so you only have 25 years to compound. Okay, so well. Let's say you still only contribute $1,000 a month. So how much do you need to contribute today right now? <laughs> Less than $16,000 that you need to put in. Less than $16,000 that you need to put in to invest. Okay? And let's say you want to take out the money at 20 years old. Oh, sorry, at 20 years later. At 60 years old and now you're 40. And let's recalculate. So, as of today, you will need to put in $46,000 and 20 years later, you will have $1 million if you continue to invest $12,000 every year at the end of the year. Alright, so now do you see the magic power of this compounding? Now, assuming, now let's go back to the end amount again. Let's say you, you, you do not have a lot of money. You have only $15,000. Same thing, we are going to contribute just $1,000 a month and we will compound it for 25 years. How much do you get? It is still more than $1 million. You still get $1.3 million. My friend, can you see the power of this compounding interest in your favor. So now, if you notice, in the compound investment calculator that I show you, there are four main factors that actually impact how much money you have and how fast you get that $1 million or more. Okay, the first factor, of course, is the principal amount that you're going to contribute. Secondly is how many years are you going to let it compound? Thirdly is the rate of return. And fourth is what is the additional contribution you're going to put in at the end of the year. Of course, the more principal, the more time horizon you have to compound it. And with the rate of return staying the same, and you contribute more and more every single year. So as you continue to work, or as, as you continue to make money along the way, as, and the older you get, you perhaps have more disposable money to invest back in. The faster and more money you will have, by the time you retire. All right, now the big question mark is, how do you achieve this? How do you let your money compound? Let me show you this method. It's not by me, right? It's not by me, I did not invent this. But if you know who Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett is, they are the greatest investor of the world right now. And this is the method that they taught. If you do not know how to pick stocks, just invest in S&P 500. And so I'm going to show you exactly how you can invest in that. But first thing first, in case you are a noob, all right, in case you don't know why it's S&P 500, it is actually a stock market index fund that tracks 500 of the largest companies uh, in the US stock exchanges. And it represents 11 sectors in the home of the US stock market. And the beauty of this S&P 500 is that along the way, if any company 
is not a good representation of that particular sector or the industry, that particular company will be taken off the S&P 500 and replaced by another company in. So essentially, it means that this S&P 500 is evergreen. It will always refresh itself with the best company that represents how the market should be performed in that particular sector. And so with these 500 companies, it represents majority, about 80% of the whole stock market in US. Now I'm going to take my phone again and show you historically, all right, how this S&P 500 has performed. Okay, so now back to my phone again, I'm showing you S&P 500 since 1996. Can you see this part where I scroll? 1996, it was at $748. And we fast forward all the way to today that is showing 17 June 2024, it is at $5,400. Look, do you notice the trend? You know, over, all right, over the long term, this S&P 500 always goes up in the long term. I remember from the, at the start of the video, I told you that this is not going to be an um, overnight millionaire success. It's not. This is a long-term game, but surely and slowly and surely you will become a millionaire. Now let's look at short term. All right, let's say we just look at six months. Do you notice that it is in during six months time frame, there is a lot of ups and downs, up and downs. It is volatile in the short term. Even look at one month. Okay, up and down, up and down. Five days, up and down, up and down. But the moment we look at the long term, you do not have to worry about the short term volatility because today we are looking at the long term. And for compound interest to work in your favor, it must be for the long term. And historically, S&P 500 has been performing at an average annual rate of 7 to 10%. So that means that some years it is doing less than 10%, some years it is more than 10%. So on average, we are talking about 7 to 10%. That is why in the calculator earlier on, I put in an annual rate of 10%. And you do not even have to pick any stocks. All you need to do is just to buy the S&P 500. And how fast you reach that $1 million, it depends on your capital, it depends on how long you want to let it compound, and how much you want to contribute at the end of each year. So even if today you do not know how to pick any stocks, it's okay, you do not have to just invest in S&P 500. So next, how do you exactly invest in S&P 500? First thing first, you first need to open a brokerage account. Now I'm putting it in the description below some of the brokerage accounts that you can open where they are at a low cost, right? And the next thing is you need to invest in a low cost S&P 500. The expense ratio is very low, it's less than 0.1%. All right, so we're talking about 0.03, to 0.09% max. So these three are Vanguard, Spider, and iShares. All right, the ticker symbol is indicated, so you can also check them out. Now, disclaimer, I do not get anything out of this. I do not get paid. This is not sponsored. I'm literally just trying to help my family and friends out here to look at all this because I hope everyone around me becomes a millionaire and you can retire early and happily with good money in your pocket, all right? Now remember, if you want to reach the millionaire status fast, you first need to put in as much capital as you can, let it compound for as long as you can, and contribute as much as you can every single year without fail. But a lot of people make this common mistake because they withdraw the money too early or they are fearful when the market is down in the short term. So, a lot of people make this mistake. When the market is going down, there is a lot of fear going on in the market or when the market is crashing, people sell the S&P 500 too early only to realize that, oh, when the market recovers, the S&P 500 soar high up into the sky. So please, please do not repeat this mistake. Never, never do that because you need to let the compound interest work its magic by doing absolutely nothing, meaning 
don't sell your S&P 500. Remember that chart I showed you, over the long term, it will always rise up in value. In the short term, yes, it is volatile. So it is crucial and important that you disregard the short term volatility because, because for compounding to work, it needs to be the long term. So let me share with you this advice and quote from Howard Marks, where he shared that day traders consider themselves very successful when they bought a stock at $10 and sold it off at $11. Then for the next week, they bought the same stock at $24 and sold it off at $25, right? And then later on, they bought it at $39 and sold it off at $40. So they made $3, right? So from 10 to 11, $1. From 24 to 25, another $1. $39 to $40, another $1. So these day traders made $3 out of 3 trades. But this is a huge flaw because if these traders held off from $10 to $40, they will have actually made $30 instead of $3, 10 times more. So now the lesson learned here is, if you think that you are very smart by going in and out of the trade and making that $3, you are literally missing out on the $30 gained per share. So same thing, for compound interest to work, never, never sell too early. Don't be fearful of the short-term volatility. Look at the long-term and let compound interest work in your favour. That's where you can slowly but surely become a millionaire. Now maybe the figure I showed you is not big enough. So now let us try to simulate with different figures within the calculator and let's see what we can derive at. So assuming you have $100,000, to invest in. So maybe you are mid-30s or at your 40s, I'm sure by then you have saved up some money. So let's assume $100,000 and let's give yourself 30 years. So if you are 35 years old, at 30 years later, you are 65 years old, so still pretty young. Or you are at 40 years old, you will be at 70 years old by then. If you are 30, then yeah, you get it, so 60 years old. So let's say 30 years old and we contribute same thing every year 24,000 so that's two thousand dollars a month the figure that we are going to derive at is a whopping 5.6 million dollars so 30 years from now you have 5.6 million dollars is that enough for you to retire if it's not enough let's simulate even higher amount so instead of 24,000 a year how about if you set aside three thousand dollars a month so we have thirty six thousand dollars every year that you contribute and 30 years later you have 7.6 million dollars that is a lot of money but let's say you don't want to set aside or you cannot save three thousand dollars aside a month to invest let's stick to twenty four thousand dollars but the base let's increase it to two hundred thousand dollars and we will derive the amount around the same of 7.4 million dollars so now the key thing here is you need to start early, you need to have as big capital as you can and if you can contribute as much as you can every month and every year, you will hit a bigger target amount at the end of 20, 25 or 30 years. So the four factors that I mentioned will be very important and key to achieving how much money you have and how fast you get to that millionaire status. If you think that this have helped open up your mind to see how you can become a billionaire with this easy, simple method. Give me a like, write in your comments what do you think and most importantly as all YouTubers will ask you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on more valuable content in my next videos. So I hope this has helped you out and I'll see you in my next video. Good luck and start investing right now. I have done it. Are you going to invest right now?